The Brooklyn and Los Angeles Dodgers died Tuesday. He was 97 years old. Erskine was more than just a big leaguer. He became a champion for athletes with special needs. We go on filter tonight with Ted Green, who filmed a documentary about Erskine. Uh, it, it was called uh, The Best We've Got, the Carl Erskine story. Uh, Ted, good to see you. Thanks so much for, for taking some time. I know you've been extremely busy, and you said to me off camera you were actually with Carl yesterday. Yes, first of all, thank you very much for uh, having me. It, uh, it is a sad day, very. Um, yesterday I was able to visit with Carl in the, in the hospital and his family. Um, and it was, you know, it was very, obviously very moving. He was sort of barely lucid, but I was able to, you know, kiss him on the head and tell him I love him and tell him he's the best guy I've ever known, which is true. And he squeezed my, squeezed my hand a little. So I thought I was going to be prepared, but when I got the call from Carl's daughter, Susie, uh, this morning, it, it really hit me. And then actually I got a call shortly after that from a special Olympics athlete, special Olympics, Indiana athlete who, who was, who was encouraging me and told me I had to be strong for Carl's wife, Betty. So yeah. that's when, that's when the emotions really, really kicked in. Well, you talked about the special Olympics. Tell our, our viewers at home who Carl Erskine was and what inspired you to do the documentary because he was way more than just a baseball player. Yeah, I mean, Carl lived a, a remarkable life in so many ways, and I'd say the, the least remarkable of which was the one he's most famous for, and that's baseball. He played with the Brooklyn Dodgers with Jackie Robinson and, and you know, Pee Wee Reese and Gil Hodges and others in the, in the 1950s. And he's actually, he was the last man standing of the Boys of Summer, mm -hmm. uh, as coined by Roger Kahn in his great book by the same name. Um, but really where he has stood out is he's been a champion for human rights, the likes of which I, I had never um, encountered, um, both racially with his childhood best friend growing up in, you know, a very racist time in Indiana history in the 1930s. And then notably with, with Jackie Robinson, who has just um, had unbelievable things to say about Carl. But, but then especially, I would say, in the, in the treatment um, and the acceptance of people with intellectual disabilities. Um, Carl and his wife, Betty, had Jimmy, who had Down syndrome in 1960. Um, and they went on to, you know, this is a time when all of those kids, most of those kids were being institutionalized. Mm. And they used to do that. Uh, raised him at home and in fact led this incredible parents movement um, that changed that in the whole country and especially here in Indiana. That is his legacy. Indiana has gone from being one of the worst places um, in the treatment of people with intellectual disabilities to one of the very best today. And yeah. people who understand the evolution say, that's Carl and that's Betty Erskine. Yeah, he was such a good guy off the field. He was also one heck of a baseball player too. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> let's not forget it. Um, you know, he pitched two no hitters. He set a World Series strikeout record with 14 against the Yankees, including four of Mickey Mantle. Um, you know, he was just such a part of baseball history. He was there for the shot heard around the world with the, the Giants beating the Dodgers. And he was there when when baseball, as I say in the film, it jumped into the big leagues. I mean, it went from radio to TV. It went from East Coast to West. Um, you know, so many, obviously, um, from segregated to integrated, um, means to planes. And, and there is this guy, and he's just this, he's the most humble guy you, you'd ever see. And he spent all of his 97 years here in Indiana. Um, the best we've got, the title of the film, that was what Mitch Daniels said, Governor, then Governor Daniels, when he gave Carl the Sachin Award in 2010. And I, uh, I so I stole that. I stole the title from Mitch. Yeah, and I have about a minute left. Uh, and, and again, Ted, I appreciate you coming on. I know it's it's been hectic um, the past 24 hours. Uh, number one, I want to point out, it's kind of ironic. He, he, he unfortunately passed away yesterday on Jackie Robinson Day of all days. Uh, and also, he was awarded the Lifetime Achievement Award last year by MLB, right? Oh, he was, and that was so. It was so special. Carl and Betty weren't able to go to the ceremony at Cooperstown. It was during, uh, you know, induction weekend, but his, so many of his family members were able to go, and, and I was able to go, and, and a few others, and, and it was just extraordinary. The the the, the feelings. 
toward him from this incredible group there in Cooperstown. But then what made it extra special is the president and the board chair, since Carl and Betty were unable to go to Cooperstown, they flew their plane into Anderson, Indiana. Hmm. And and gave him the award in person. And I, I was able to see a lot of special things in my time with Carl, and that's that was right up there. There's nobody uh, more deserving. He won the Lifetime Achievement Award, only six winners ever. Rachel Robinson, Jackie's widow was one of them, and now Carl is too, and what a perfect way um, for him to be, to be remembered. The world's a little bit of a better place because of Carl Erskine, uh, definitely Indiana as well. Ted, thank you so much. Sorry for your loss. We really appreciate you coming on with us. Thank you. No, listen, thank you. I'm the luckiest guy in the world. I got to, to learn and tell his story. Thank you. Great story. Thank you.